I would like this must be very speed. Up. Yeah, because we said now uh, this thing must be resolved. Look how old I am. I lost my house because I can't pay my my, my children from the house to the shack. I, I'm, I'm still in the, in, in, in the shacks now. From the house to the shack. I'm working in university. Yes. My kids can't go with me to the university. Uh, Please, Mr. President, let, let us not argue, because this is a, a long time we are speaking about this outsourcing problem, and who is suffering at the end of the day? It's us. It is us. And you don't feel the pain. You don't feel the pain. You, you, you review people, you, you, you see, you pay a lot of money for people. Uh, I, I, I remember the, 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 the consultant who, who was in that university. Uh, Bigwa, uh, uh, Bigwa is driving Maserati today, ah, yes. but he came yes. uh, uh, driving a, a golf. Yes. But he's driving now. Uh, Maserati. That is the BM. That's the last number. But me, I'm out of my house. You see, you see how, how do you think? About, about how we feed uh, children who are staying in the house now going for a shark. But if my father is working in university, son of a bitch, please, please, please. Camera rolling. Okay. Um, how long have you How long have you been working at UCT? Uh, I was. I'm working for thirteen years. Thirteen years. Thirteen years. Yes. I just want to remain in the because I'm just fear of the company. Maybe they're gonna look for disciplinary something for me. I was here, maybe the time they were firing the people, like the time we were protesting for something here in UCT and they fired the people. They said they don't need the protesting in between our lunch time, because it was between one and two. And because we just worried now, you know, the threatens of the company and whatever, if maybe the students are gone now, there must be something they're gonna do to us. So it must be something happened before the students are gone. So sure, some of them, I think they believe that they are leaders and not our mouth to managers. So which is they tip to decisions in our absenteeism. Whereas the norm as a shop steward is supposed to go to the employer, listen to what he's going to say, and whatever is to be read, come back first before signing anything you want, and then go back to management as to this. In this case, they didn't do that. Twelve o'clock, midnight, minute past twelve, first January two thousand and seventeen. The Simulus Jesus will be out of UCT, and I believe Max, that dictator, will have police mm -hmm. saying, "If you find these bastards here, arrest them for trespass." But our contract is ending thirty-first of December. This year is not six months. We are in October. We're going to November. This yes. year is two months. You can't promise us of six months while we know that 31st December we are finished with going out of, of UCT. For the six month report, it's up to the, 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 it's up to the contract, not to the workers. They just write whatever they like. They lie to those who You know what? I've been working on this campus for 19 years. See? 19 years. But if I walk away now, I'm not a Patricia, I'm going to walk out with nothing. Nothing and exactly. nothing. And that is actually that breaks my heart a lot. No worry. You tell me if I resign now, I'm not 60 yet. But if I, I decide I decide to go now because I want to go and look after my grandchildren, what am I going to eat? And what about my kids that are at home? That has passed with distinctions, that hasn't got the university entrance. If you are still saying that six months, how long is that going to take? Why no children are at they lost from this company, they stole from our pocket. How many we, millions? We, we do doing for this millions. company, you guys. We don't give us any answer. We yeah. don't even we don't take even a part on those people. You promise to monitor, to monitor. Every time we are going to monitor, monitor. How many years to monitor? Yeah. Nothing happened. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen.
and gentlemen, I say shut it down until, until they give us our answer. All this is is more bureaucratic jargon. And anybody who stands against the people at this point in time is against history. We're making this. We cannot allow this to happen. We got to keep shutting it down. If I can sacrifice everything, then you can sacrifice something too. Management is again resisting, is refusing to meet with workers. They're refusing to let workers out of their jobs so that workers can uh, meet with the new uh, representat the rep the representatives um, that have been elected after Nihal has failed the workers. They are refusing to let those workers meet in order to consolidate their demands. But again, the UCT says that they are for, in principle, are for insourcing. But if they were for insourcing, then they would release the workers in order for them to consolidate their demands. But they are refusing to do that, and they are refusing to speak to students, and then saying, oh, but we are taking severe actions if you delay exams. But when can we do this? For you to put your back while people are talking shows that you don't see black people. Yeah. It shows that to you black lives are consumable and you can't have that and you're talking about the outsourced workers having 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 access to their children getting a re getting some sort of compensation for starting a GCT. You don't understand that they don't have that opportunity. By you continuing with outsourcing means that black children of, of these black workers don't have access to the space. For you to be able to enter into UCT, you need to have some sort of education that allows you to enter into the space. And for you to just say that, okay, cool, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with, with funds once you're here, and you don't understand that they not they don't have the opportunity to, to be here. How long should black lives continue living like this? How long should we our oh, wow. stories be that of saying, oh, she had so much potential? Yeah. You don't see us, Max Price. Oh, what you're doing now, on the screen. Why is my exam making it impossible for me to see that there's people living below human standard at this university? I'm not saying people mustn't write their exams. I'm not saying that because I know people have jobs waiting for them, people have families they have to feed. All I'm saying is that people must mobilize enough to come here to put pressure on management because the reality of the situation is once we let this go, once we write our exams and once we finish, we go home. Management victimizes the workers and they will fire all those people. So this is the reality. We're not trying to bar people from writing exams. The exams are the only form of leverage that we have at this point in time. So if this was your parent cleaning up after privileged UCT students who don't even greet them, there are many times I'd see workers cleaning in reses and people walk past like these people are not there, like they're part of the furniture. This is the problem with this institution. And this is why a struggle that is clearly about human lives is turned into being about exams. Management is making this about exams. Management is saying, hey, don't disrupt exams. No one said they're going to disrupt exams. We are simply saying, please fix this before exams come because we'd like to study too. We'd like to pass. But this is what is happening. And it's making me very sad because the only reason it's so easy for some of us to go back to our rooms and to use the meal vouchers that we are getting is because these are not our parents. Because our parents have benefits at work. They have medical aid. They have enough money to feed us and to do other things. But of course, this is not everyone. And I'm not rich either. I'm not, I'm not you know, speaking from a point of I know everything. But it is what it is. These people are human. And you can't go on like this. You can't pretend they're not there. Because then we're not human anymore. We're animals. So. That's me. I'm gonna go now because I'm sad. <laughs>